What is blood? There are various definitions for blood, but simply, it is a red liquid which circulates in blood vessels of humans and other vertebrates to carry oxygen, gas to cells, and carbon dioxide from tissues. Other defines that blood is a vital principle of life. And then we can differentiate from one individual to another based on the blood groups, which carries different specific antigens on the red blood cells. In fact, there are four types of blood groups. Blood group A, blood group B, AB, and then O. Blood groups are genetically inherited from parents, so the father and mother determine the blood groups of their children. Then, let's start with the first blood group A, which carry the antigen or agglutinogen A on the red blood cells. Then, blood group B, which carries the agglutinogen or antigen B on the red blood cells. Blood group AB, which carries the agglutinogens A and B at the same time on the red blood cells. While blood group O, which carries neither agglutinogen A or agglutinogen B on the red, on the red blood cells. So the red blood cells of uh, of the red blood cells of persons carrying blood group O are without agglutinogens A or B. Here we see the agglutinogen present on the red blood cells of a person carrying blood group A. As in here we see the agglutinogen A of a person carrying the red blood uh, the carrying the blood group A. This person has blood group B because their blood, red blood cells carries or carry uh, agglutinogen B. And this person has the uh, blood group AB because the red blood cells carry agglutinogen A and agglutinogen B at the same time on the red blood cells. And finally, the red blood cells of a person carrying blood group O are without uh, agglutinogen A or B. يعني الشخص اللي عنده agglutinogen A على red blood cells بيكون عنده فئة دم A عنده agglutinogen B على red blood cells بيكون عنده فئة دم B عنده agglutinogen A and B at the same time على red blood cells بيكون عنده فئة دم A B واللي ما عنده شيء على red blood cells ولا A ولا B بيكون فئة دم O يعني نحن تنعرف فئة دمه للشخص لازم نتطلع على red blood cells ونشوف الاجلتينوجين او الانتجين اللي موجودين عليها وهيك بيكون خلصنا كيف ممكن نحدد فئة دم الاشخاص